rare disease nearly takes the life of a local teenager. Chris Hendrickson was a very sick college student. At first, he thought he had the beginning of a common cold. How are you doing? Okay. Good to see you. Chris Hendrickson is a different patient now than when he was in intensive care at Dayton Children's Medical Center. The prognosis from his follow-up exam this week is a far cry from the six weeks he spent in the hospital. Honestly, I thought it was just like maybe I was getting the flu, but I think the thing that I kind of figured out there was more to it is because I'd never had fevers that high before, and so, and once I couldn't move my neck. His mother began to worry and insisted on more testing. They tested him for strep and H1N1 and all negative, sent us back home, and two days later he was still running high fevers, but he was throwing up pretty violently and so we took him back on Wednesdays. I asked for some x-rays just because we were leaving for vacation. We didn't want to get him in a situation where we weren't where there was good medical care and uh, he he um, he was pretty insistent in telling us that he didn't think he could make the trip. Chris was diagnosed with Lemire syndrome, a rare disease that develops life-threatening bacteria carrying blood clots. Sometimes an abscess develops in the soft tissue in the back of your throat and then you have extension of this bacteria into the jugular vein. And the bigger concern with this is uh, the fact that little pieces of this clot can break off and then they go throughout the body can cause severe sepsis and that's what Christopher had. He developed septic shock from it. And then other organs can get affected. His lungs. His lungs were very sick. He was on a ventilator for about three weeks on very high ventilator su support. The bacteria being carried in his blood caused a lot of health problems with infections. Mortality from this used to be quite high, and the more organs that are involved, the higher the risk of death. Uh, we've gotten better at managing these patients, and so they survive longer and they do well, and kids are much more resilient than adults. I surely didn't think it was going to be that serious, though. Chris is recovering well, and he is expected to return to his classes at Sinclair Community College in the fall.